Hey y'all, this is the third day we're getting to bail, bail. definitely not consecutively. Um, we have really been dodging a lot of rain and moisture issues. Uh, yesterday was pretty much a bust. Um, it was completely cloudy, zero sun, and it only got up to 60 degrees. Those were not ideal curing conditions. We had good amount of hay down and it did not cure. It looks like we just cut it last night and it, it got cut a few days ago. So um, we are running pretty behind today and we're trying to beat some more rain that's coming in. This first bale I've done feels a little bit moist st still. I am going to go ahead and bale one more, see what it feels like. My husband is running the fluffer on our little tractor. Our uh, bigger John Deere sprung a hydraulic leak, so she's on light duty only, no hay equipment. Um, thankfully, my brother-in-law has a plan, and we'll get her up and going again. Don't know how long that's going to take, but um, so now our little tractor is having to run three different implements, the sickle mower, the fluffer, and the rake. So we are trying to save the baler for this tractor because this is the only tractor that is currently running that can run the baler. So uh, we had a few breakdowns yesterday as well, just various things going wrong, things needing fixing. So we definitely were not uh, just sitting around twiddling our thumbs. We're trying to keep going and see how far along we can get. we're finally back in the hay it's been raining like crazy and we've been waiting for things to dry out and get a few good days so that we can actually do something so my husband has been working on the disc mower for a while we got the big John Deere up and going again from its hydraulic leak I say we my brother-in-law and my husband and so now my husband has switched to the sickle mower and I am working on the fluffer so um, we call it fluffer I think a lot of people call it tethering, but uh, that's our term for it. So let's fire up, see what we can do.
that wraps up what footage we have for making hay in the year of 2021. It went pretty good. I uh, quit getting footage. I get pretty tired. So um, didn't get any footage in the last field. We bail. I did have one absolutely perfect bale. My indicators on each side were exactly where they were supposed to be, even and towards the top. I took a couple pictures because I was pretty proud of that bale. And the very last bale I started to do, there was a pretty thick cedar branch hiding in the windrow and sheared a pin and did a little bit more damage to one of the belts. It didn't break, we didn't have to replace it. Thankfully, my uncle hadn't gone home yet, and he came out with me, and we both took turns hacksawing that branch out and got it out in pieces, replaced the pin, and were able to finish up that bale. And I think I've got a picture of it um, somewhere. When I started hauling, I found the bale that still had part of the branch sticking out of it. But anyway, coming up is going to be a few videos on hay hauling but kind of like hay making, it's a little repetitive, so I'll have to see how many that turns into. So thanks for coming along, and maybe next year we'll get some more footage and get some different angles so you can see more of the process, because I don't think I got any of the sickle mower or the disc mower working and not just a whole lot of the rake. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Come back when you can stay longer, and we'll see you next time. See ya! I don't know what kind of thumbnail. That was probably stupid. That was probably stupid too. Oh, there's a molehill there. Alright, enough being stupid for thumbnails.